Hello everyone, it's Baelish here, here again playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. And it's been like a solid week since I've been playing this, so I'm a little bit rusty with uh, what's going on with the story, but let's, let's, let's carry this shit on. Broski, morning Baelish. Ahaha, <laughs> ha. what's the matter? You haven't woken up yet? Oh, you've been having strange dreams. Ah yes, the dreams we've been having about being a human. What was strange about them? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Hmm, okay. Baelish, you said you're actually a human, right? So perhaps those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon. See, I told you guys that the, the dreams hold the secrets. By the way, Baelish, I missed that. Do you want to turn back into a human? To be honest, with how, how terrible life is, in the real world right now, I think I'd rather be a blue turtle. Huh? What's wrong? Is this a dilemma for you? Well, I hope so. It sure must be more fun to be here with me. You're damn right about that. Anyway, we we're supposed to be at the Pokemon Square today. Do you remember? We need to get information on how we can add members to the rescue team. Let's get going. Boring! So basically, we're just getting a tutorial on how to get people in our rescue team. Really not that, that exciting. You can talk to this wiggly tough over here. Okay, so we've just um, unlocked some new areas so we can recruit Pokemon on these. Uh, the Magnemite bros have turned up, the guys that we turned down the other day because we didn't have any space. So I guess now we've just had a space open up and we can actually help them join our team. Congratulations, welcome to the team. You're never going to come on an adventure with us. Because I hate... And I would like to see what anyone else thinks of this, but I hate having a third person with me in the party. Not because I think they don't contribute or that they can't be valuable, but most of the time they just die and then use up all my reviver seeds and then I've got nothing for myself when it really matters. So they're more of a liability than anything else. At least in the early parts of the games where um, you tend to get bulldozed by these legendary Pokemon. Guess it's time to go to the bulletin board. Okay, so I've got one little job here, you know, just a simple rescue job on Mount Steel. We're gonna go smash this out and hopefully get some plot progression after doing this. Oh, you know, you know what? Never mind. We've got the plot progression right here. I need my friends. I, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. <laughs> but my friend needs to go, just needs a gust of wind, sir. Please. Hi. What's going on? Huh? That scene there, Jumpluff's begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. See that guy? There, the one in the middle, with the pointy nose. He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jumpluff's been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait! Oh shit! What do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam. That's Alakazam. Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jumpluff's friend, a strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help that Pokemon out. Uh, ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. I suppose. Okay, fine. Meanwhile, that, that, that Jumpluff's friend is just dying in a tree right now. That Shiftry agreed without any argument. What a badass. What you don't know about Alakazam's team? They're like the most coolest team here. They're the most famous team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. That's Tyranitar. He takes great pride in his armored body and amazing strength. So he's an asshole then. And that's the leader, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He, he'd rather just bully you with his psychic powers. He's endowed. Oh, check that out, guys. He's endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of 5,000. Apparently, he's memorized everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam does, does all the commanding in the team. He's clearly in charge. Th thank you. No need for thanks. It's only natural. You can suck my dick later. If anyone turns you down again, come see me and I'll fuck him up. Cool. I wouldn't expect anything less from a gold rank rescue team. Huh? What? 
What's wrong? What's up? It's fine. Nothing. Let's go. See, could that be a slight indication that he knows that I'm a human? You're gonna have to find out by keeping on watching. Phew, that was scary. Sheesh. C -c cool. Phew, Baelish. We need to become like them. Let's recruit moment. We didn't even say what the team name was. I can't remember what it is now. I think it's just letters. Um, le letters representing the, their names. Uh, let's recruit more members and make our team first class. Bro, we don't need new members. And here we go. Here's the token asshole character of this generation of Mystery Dungeon. If you played uh, Explorers of Time and Darkness, you had that skunk tank at the zoo back in the coffin. The zoo bat. But now we've got a, a Gengar. So, we've woke up again. It's a new morning. Let's see what's happening. Let's get into this actual mission so we can get some more plot. To Mount Steel. Okay, let's do this. It's time for another montage time. Oh my god, it's always the last room. Fucking serious, bro. We just did a whole lap and I still haven't found the stairs. What's going on with this dungeon today? Broski! We're on the floor, guys. We're on the floor, and this dungeon has been hell so far. Hell yeah, leveled up! Okay, so we now we finally actually found this guy, so now we can get out of this hell hole. Yes, I hate it when they swap the yeses and the noes. Just let me make my mistakes if I make my mistakes. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward. 100 pokey. And some cherry berries. Oh, and a 5 points to the booty bros. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'm sad and lonely, Mount Steel again. We've got to go in the same... Gotta go in the same dungeon! Today's episode is the dungeon grinding episode, it seems. A few moments later. Okay, we're finally on the right floor. Again. Please don't get me another dead end. Hey, there he is. Come here. You're coming on with me. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night. Okay, see you tomorrow. Get ready to see that dialogue a lot, because they will do that every single day. Mount Steel, sixth floor again! Can't believe this. How many people get lost on the 6th floor of this damn mountain? Like, what's so crazy about that floor? Hello, 6th floor. This is the third time we've met today. Hi! Come here often? We certainly do. Yes, I definitely would like to get out. Yay, we did it again! Thank you so much. Here's your reward. Some stones, some gravel, also a reviver seed. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. Thank you. Now, can we please get some plot, sir? Did we do good today? Yes, we did. Now, give me plot. Yes, finally. Plot, 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 plot. Good morning. Let's do good again today. Is this the place that the team named Booty Bros is based? Oh sorry, no, it's these guys. It should sound a bit more sinister. 
There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Keh! Who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable! Who are you people? Oh, over there, a mailbox! Keh, yeah, check it out! Now wait a sec, what do you think you'll do it? Yes! Rescue job offers! Ooh la la, now isn't that rather tasty? We'll have them all. Stop! Those were meant for us. Don't butt in. Okay. Doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescue team too, and we'll have you know. But all we ever get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have to cover for a rescue team, we get away with so much more. These guys are just like huge assholes. And what's funny is the fact that their rescue team is called like Team Meanie, as if that wasn't any more obvious. The rescue team of evil Team Meanies is who we are. See you around. Who would want to get saved by a team? Who would want to get saved by a team called Team Meanies? They took off. What an unbelievable bunch. Oh no, there probably was just another letter to go on the 6th floor of Mount Steel anyway, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh no wait, our letter to go to the 6th floor of Mount Steel has just arrived. See, nothing to worry about. But those guys, they better not try anything if we see them again. Swear to god. Oh, it's alright guys, it's on the 3rd floor this time. Go on. We'll wrap it up by saving this dude. So yeah, just to like, let you know like how deep of a rabbit hole I've gone down in terms of playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. I'm essentially playing three Mystery Dungeon games at the same time, or two at the very least. Because I'm playing this one for you guys, and then I started playing Explorers of Time and Darkness on my DS because I sort of wanted to see how that one was again, because it's been so long since I played it. But then... I saw um, that Explorers of Sky is also out on the DS and it offers so much more so I was like you know what I'll, I'll try that one as well so I'm kind of like playing three different rescue teams on three different games at the moment and it, it can honestly get so confusing like what's happening in which one so I apologize if I seem like kind of like stupid when it comes to like figuring out what's going on as soon as I hop in again because honestly I'm, I'm playing like three different stories and sometimes it's honestly so hard to keep track of what's going on but if you want my opinion I'm enjoying Explorers of Sky it's the first time I've played it apparently a lot of people really really like that game it is essentially just a, a remaster of Darkness and Time with some added elements to it that makes it a bit better I recommend it if you want to try a mystery dungeon game get Explorers of Sky it's probably the most complete and uh, most useful one so a lot more friendlier as well. All right, let's leave. That was a quickie. -na 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 -na. We got an orange berry for that. Here's your reward: fucking two hundred dollars and five points for the booty bros. Woo! Yeah, yeah, did good. Goodbye. Good night. Okay guys, so I think we're going to leave it here for this episode. Sorry that it's been very grindy and just sort of earning our points, earning our way to the top to earn the respect from our from our peers, but hopefully in the next episode you'll see a little bit more plot and a little less more grind and a little less more salt because I get very salty at this game sometimes. Although you're probably going to see that a lot more in the future as well. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to those who actually subscribed to this channel already. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate yeah, I really appreciate you guys checking this shit out. Um, I'm definitely gonna try and upload more often now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.